In this episode, we build the frame for our partition wall, and things get groovy. Hole jigging? What pocket are we doing? Holding. Pocket pocket holing. Drill. Drilling. Right, we are putting together the first cross pattern in our partition wall. And as you can see, um, because when, when you're using the um the pocket hole to attach these two they do like to push the wood apart and we don't have a clamp big enough to go over that whole side so we've clamped our clamp to our clamp here. Yeah. and so over here in this section there's going to be the door hatch through to the main area and in this section we're going to have a little cupboard which will access this area behind the bench seats so for now I can cut some insulation for that section and this section. That end side behind the driver's seat is going to be a bit more complicated because there's some funny shapes going on. So I'll leave that one for now. The insulation is in the panels of the frame that need it that aren't going to have the doors so we've just got to foil tape it next but just before that we've just gone around and filled any gaps where our cuts weren't quite square so this is our frame for our partition wall that will be going just about there and what we're doing today is trying to route the groove um, where the kind of frame of the door will sit. Um, as you can see, we've already screwed in our pieces, which is uh, possibly an error. And we also have these um, screw holes already cut in to join in, which really means we can only take off this much um, edge. Um, and we need to go down um, by about probably 1.2 because these are 2.4 um deep we don't have um a bit for our router that actually will cut that so what we have done instead is we have this big cutter in here um, and you can see the blade there set to quite a thin depth at the moment and we have one of these bearings um, on this, what is this called? A guide arm? What is it called? This is, yeah, some guide. Some A sort. guide that you can screw into the side of the router. Right, as you can see, we now have a second piece of wood clamped behind the piece that we're going to be routing. Uh, and that's just because when we get in further, the router wasn't able to sit fully kind of supported and flat, so it was quite hard to stop it from tilting, um, and that creates little notches um, in your in your routed surface. So hopefully with this, um, even once we get further into this piece of wood, this edge will still be supported over here, and we'll be able to keep it nice and flat and smooth. And because we couldn't route all the way into the corners, mm. we're now chiseling them out. Up next, we're building the door, which we did in much the same way, except this time we did the routing before we attached everything together. 
so we didn't have to chisel. So this is our frame. We've now built the doors, as you can see, not hinged yet. Uh, we've sanded everything down. There's still a mill gap here or there. Um, but we're not too worried about that. We're going to put plywood on top, cutter insulation. All we're going to do now is foil tape um, the insulation that doesn't have foil tape on it yet and maybe go over some of these patches that we did before which we've now sanded down and, and torn a little bit. So the way we've built the doors is hopefully you can see down here there's this channel so that's basically the back inside uh, sorry the back outside of the door frame has a channel on it and then the outer frame that is on the inside front has been cut out so when they when they then slot together nicely which it will do when it's hinged it will fit together much nicer even if there are some small gaps you'll just be going through to that wooden lip so any light won't leak through to the front of the van so hopefully that will just keep any light out well that's everything for this week we built the frame for our wall the frame for our doors and then we've insulated into some of these cavities and taped all that insulation into place. So if you found that useful or enjoyed it then please do consider liking and subscribing and then join us next time where we'll try and get this wall finished off so we're going to add insulation on the sides and we'll have to cut them to the curves of the van and then we'll try and put the plywood on top and hinge our doors and get everything finished off with this little mini project. So see you next time. Shush, don't show the viewers. Basically, oh, I'm trying to film. I'm trying to show you. Yeah, flip, flip it over, yeah. flip it over, flip it over. That is a problem. <laughs>